Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Ugreen, a tech company that's been making tech accessories since 2009. They offer a great selection of new products including Type-C to Lightning cables, QC wall chargers, power delivery wall chargers, and USB multi-hub and much more. Be sure to visit their YouTube channel. They offer videos of their new tech, run promotions, and tutorials for users. Links will be in the description down below and at the end of this video. So as we continue our coverage of iOS 13 here on the channel, guys, in today's video, I wanted to show you some hidden tricks and options in iOS 13 that I think you guys are going to be very happy to learn about. Now, I want to start with Control Center. In Control Center, you now have the ability to 3D touch into the Wi-Fi toggle and select the Wi-Fi network that you want to connect to, which is really cool. You couldn't do that in iOS 12. I wanted this for iOS 13 and Apple did deliver it. I'm very happy for that. Now, if you take a look at the bottom here, you also have Wi-Fi settings. You can click into that. It'll bring you to the settings application so you can take a further look at the Wi-Fi options that you have available. Now, this is also possible in Bluetooth. We now have the ability to select our Bluetooth devices and connection directly from Control Center by 3D touching on the toggles. Now, this trickle down to older devices as well this is not just a new device option we can also do this on the iphone se as you see here we have the ability to do that on the iphone se as well actually i think it looks a lot better on a smaller screen but that's just my opinion but you can also do this on an older device like the iphone se here as well so cool options here in control center that allow you to further take a selection of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and connect to it directly from Control Center. Now, for those of you that didn't watch my initial coverage of iOS 13, if we 3D touch on the brightness indicator here, we have the appearance, light appearance and dark appearance to turn on and turn off the dark mode in iOS 13. That's also a new option in Control Center for iOS 13 on the iPhone. Now, Apple did address the volume HUD by placing it on the side just like you see there. But if you did not know, you can actually grab the slider just like that and turn the volume up and down if you wish to do so as well. You can even slide your finger all the way across the screen and control it from the other end if you wish to do that. And you can hide it by simply releasing. Again, you can grab it just like that. Really cool. I wanna go ahead and jump into settings and show you a faster way of scrolling in iOS 13. As we scroll through the settings application, you may notice this little slider bar on the side here that appears when we start scrolling. You can actually 3D touch into that slider and grab it and scroll just a lot faster in iOS 13, just like so. Now, if you do not release it, you can slide your finger across the screen and continue to scroll as well, just like that. It's just a lot faster to get through web pages that are long web pages. For example, here at Apple's website, we can tap and hold here and just simply slide all the way to the top or slide all the way to the bottom very quickly. So a new faster way to scroll in iOS 13, you guys probably did not know about that option. So there it is. In the photos application, if we go to the videos categories here, the video section, you see that in the video section, you can now edit your videos, but not only could you edit your videos, you can mute the sound of your videos if you wish to do so. You also have the ability to rotate your videos. So if you tap here, you can actually rotate a video into landscape mode if you wish to do that, or even upside down. So you have so many options in the Photos application, which I do wanna cover in its entirety. However, there's just so many bugs that continue to cause the application to crash for me that I'm gonna wait maybe for the second beta to give you guys a full breakdown of the Photos application and all the features. But I wanted to share this one with you guys because in video now, you can do so many more things at filters, change you know different settings of the videos rotate them as you just saw resize them and as i mentioned you can even mute the actual sound of the video if you wish as well in ios 13. now for those of you who have older iphones will be happy to learn that all iphones that support ios 13 now have haptic touch or long press if you will to invoke 3d touch like actions so for example this is an iphone 10r for those who have the iphone 10r you know you can't 3d touch on icons and get menus in ios 12 but in ios 13 you can do that it is all over the place just like 3d touch which is an indication that apple will most likely get rid of 3d touch on future iphones this also trickles down to older devices like the iphone se here this one is running ios 13 we have 3d touch right there on the iphone se very very happy that apple did this again this is throughout the entire os uh, no compromise Apple delivered with 3D touch-like actions throughout the entire operating system here, including on older iPhones, not just the new iPhones like the 10s, 
XS Max. Another amazing feature that Apple brought to iOS 13 is the ability to control your iPhone using your voice. So it is under accessibilities and voice control. Now this feature, when you first enable it, it'll show you splash screens here on how to use it. And of course, certain commands that you can use with this actual feature. Now this is a feature that actually learns your patterns and the way you talk. And I'm going to do my best here to show you how it works. Go home. Open settings. Go home. Show numbers. 19. Go home. Show numbers. 4. Isn't that cool? You can actually control your iPhone and this extends throughout the entire OS and it also trickles down to older iPhones as well as I mentioned Apple did a great job bringing as many features to new devices as well as old devices. Let's go ahead and try here. Settings, show numbers, 11. So I think that's just amazing. This is beta one. This software continues to be approved upon. And by the time iOS 13 is officially released, those who need this feature will definitely appreciate it and love it. And last but not least, I want to talk about the photos application. So if we select an image here and we click on the share options, there's a new feature built into iOS that allows the actual software to detect the people that are in the image or in the photo and will suggest those people for you to send that message to or the people that you share messages with the most will also be suggested if we continue to scroll down you find all the additional options to use it as wallpaper hide the photo create a duplicate and so on and so forth so very very useful feature that recognizes people in photos and will suggest those for you for you to send those photos in messages so those are some of the hidden tricks and features built into iOS of course more will be coming in the future as more betas get released I want to say thank you one more time to you Green for sponsoring today's video you can find their youtube channel on the cards above right now thank you for watching today's video guys and i'll see you on the next one peace